Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to Manor Lords. Welcome back to another very exciting episode with lots of new things. We're getting close to the 1000 influence, which is going to be a milestone. Um, and also, I would like to start with animals now, so a sheep farm that we don't need. Before we do that, however, let's go ahead and also add some two more plots to these two buildings here. So some eggs and a vegetable garden, right? And speaking about farming, we have our farming area. And for this one, we can now add the sheep farm. Cost me one timber. Doesn't seem like a lot. And it harvests wool from sheep. And yeah, we should have this one close to my fields, I guess. It just makes sense this way. Um, let's go ahead and place our first sheep farm over there. And the reason for that is, well, we do have two sheep in stock now from the livestock trading post. I think Nickel did a good job or this traveling merchant here. Either way... The sheep is flowing, so we do have a sheep now in the, the village, and that really makes it necessary to have this sheep farm here. This will create us wool, and with the wool we can then have something else, and that is then here, the weaver workshop. So it converts wool into yarn and flax into linen, so it actually uses both of these resources. So one that we get from the sheep farm, and one that we get from the fields here. And we probably will then just have it right next here to my, to my mill, right? So it's, it's not a central and not in my industry zone mean industry zone it, it would make also a lot of sense here but let's not do this i would like to have it close to to reduce transportation time and whatnot so i'm going to add this building here now the weaver shop as well let's have priority actually on the sheep farm so i would like to finish this one first and due to a sheer miracle this tree here survived the central tree that we have there very good and this will be the last resource that we need and then we have everything fulfilled for our burgages and hopefully we can upgrade them to level two that would be amazing i can't wait to see how they look or we can't we can't we'll just see how that goes three sheep in stock perfect up to four i said i would like to, to to get um once we have the four we will then move them over to the sheep farm that is already finishing up Yep, and there it is. After a bit of time, the sheep farm has been finished. Let's assign someone. And as we can see, livestock capacity is three, so it should be getting there right away. Lifting. He's now on his way lifting the sheep over, I hope. Um, three in stock. Let's just see how that turns out. We can afford more, of course, if we want to. And let's just see how many then can be squeezed in here. Oh, there they are already. They even have a name. Thomas and Andre. <laughs> They're cold. There's the next one. Heinz coming in. Hello, Heinz. We are not going to slaughter you. Oops. Not going to slaughter you one bit. Finally, there is some some life here now, right? And Bartholomew, he's got the... He's transporting wool right now. I don't know from where, though. There it is, wool. Where are you going? He's waiting now. Alright, I guess for these sheep to be ready for something. Um, yeah, one more. Perfect. It still counts as a global stock. And over here then, construction of the Weaver Workshop has also started. Just a bit more timber. And then we can also have this very important building finally in effect. And of course the Weaver can then use the flax as well. Even though we're still very full. Look at that. 2,000. We have 1,500 grain right now. I cannot produce that much. 50 bread and it's not going down. I guess what we could do is having a second granary. Yeah. Once I have the timber, let's just, let's get an, another granary out here probably in the farming area. Because we definitely will need this. We have a workshop coming along. There's the first visual bug that I can see. But it's gone already as this one is coming to completion as well. And there it is finished, the Weaver Workshop. And this building that looks a bit hidden over here, still needs a worker. There we go. And Thomas is now getting the wool. We should already have quite a, a, a bit of that. We don't? Ah, for wool we have, right? And 95 leather. But for wool it's probably in my, in my, in my storehouse. 
right? Because there was no Weaver Hub before, but now yeah, hopefully it's getting transported and right over there um, to this. Perfect. A granary, how much would that cost me? We can afford it. Mm, I've been thinking about a granary for a while now because honestly we are getting a bit tight there on the on this one there, right? Yeah, it's full. But it should be fine, actually. Food is lasting for another six months and fuel is lasting for another seven months. So we really have a lot of that in stock. Alrighty, wool is in. Would you please start working now, Thomas? I don't have a second person here, so nothing I can do, really. Uh, further reducing the amount of farmers would do the job, I think. And there we have it, the fourth sheep. So we can stop with that now. And I can also get the, 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 the worker back there and assign a second person to the weaver workshop. And there it is, the first yarn has been produced. But where? I guess somewhere here in this building. Yes, I will definitely need another granary as this one is full, but we can have it theoretically also next to this one here. Having two granaries is fine. Let's have another one there as this one is now at a full storage. Um, and I'm probably also going to have then one more here in my farming in my farming district. But there, it's a it's a pretty big building. Mm, I don't want to have it too far outside. And that's a shame. There's no space here. Yeah, we could have it here then. Now we're already building one. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. And yeah, all our pantries are now full. That means the production in the burgage is full, right? So some of them that have the, the, the plots. This one doesn't have a plot. But there you go, right? So they're full on vegetables and stuff like that. We are overproducing food at this point. And fuel-wise, I don't have any more families available right now. I would like to add another woodcutter, though. So let's further tone it down on the trade post. I don't need that, really. And assign a second person to the woodcutter here. That those people, that we get a bit more firewood. I don't want to have people with full bellies freeze during winter. That would be a shame. Even though it's only July, so as warm as it can get. Now, since one of my clothing stands is full with leather, I'm probably going to need a second one for the second type of cloth, right? We can still wait it out there. My people are also full with leather at the moment, so no one purchases that. I was looking at the weaver hut. Five yarn. Someone needs to get it over. Transporting it now. Let's also have some more expansion over here because I'm running out of, of buildings or of living space, right? So we could also have you people, yeah, like this, live up here. I mean, what a prime location. Is it really the right decision? Could also have them living here. Yep. Actually, let's not do this. This is just such a beautiful location. I don't want that. I want to have them bit further down here, right? So this one can be full now. There's actually a, a spot for two. And then here also along the, the main roads. There's room for another three. And I would like to do this. So that we're starting now to, to merge our village more or less with the hunting camps that seemed so far away in the beginning. Also flax is in. So we do have yarn and we do have now cloth as well. My second storehouse is also coming along. It's a bit central than here, right? So beside my trading post and also close to my farming district where there's just a lot of stuff like um, the the clothes, for example, that needs some storage than here as well. Let's assign a person to this one right away to this storehouse. So the second one, yeah, that's that should be that should be much better now overall than as well. Also, the new houses are coming along. So we have two finished. The third one is in construction. Let's just once again add some milk to this one. Let's add milk for both of them. 
And milk is actually one of those things. No, we have even milk in store now. Quite a lot of that too. So not that much I can do there anymore. So we are really having a, a nice overproduction of that. Mm, and then there's the whole cloth thing. So we got 37 and 12 yarn. However, my clothing stalls, they really want to only sell leather. Which is a shame. My people want more of that. And at the moment, no one has it fulfilled. The second need. So I guess I still need to wait there a bit. Um, at least to have it in the storehouse then. Something like that. Another thing though is that we can do while we enjoy the beautiful October weather. So autumn once again is coming close. Is we can check it out now. So we got 1100 influence. So theoretically it should be possible to to claim another territory. But I don't think so since this, this is a demo. Um, let's go ahead. Lohan Dwarf that we have. And no, I cannot claim it with influence. Even though I do have the thousand... It is not possible. It is not possible to claim any territory. Unfortunately, I would have loved that. But unfortunately, it's not working. At least in, not in the demo, I think. Or I'm, I'm missing a feature here, but I don't think so. Because I haven't found anything regarding this. Would have been nice though, right? But at least we've tried it to get the thousand influence out of that. Finally, people rejoice. We have all the clothing types available, right? So um, I have now another clothing store. We ha I actually had to build quite a few of them uh, before some one of them was storing cloth. And th this means we can finally upgrade the first houses. And yeah, let's go ahead and have this one here right in the center being upgraded. Cost me actually four timber. This is, this is a lot. And as we can see, uh, the construction is happening to tier two. Oh my goodness. Finally, it happened, right? This comfort and conveniences mission. Holy cow, that took us quite some time. But it is possible now. We still need more logs, though. Um, let's just check it out. The logs are coming in from there. We have the workforce. I could also get another logging camp. Uh, a lumber uh, logging camp out somewhere over here. Because then we got lots of forests. That might actually be the safest option. So let's go ahead and do this. It might be cold, but we're excited and warm inside, hopefully. There it is. The goods are being delivered already and people start building. Of course, we are starting with the houses closest to the market. This one doesn't have a plot though, unfortunately. This one has a plot. So I'm going to upgrade those two here first before I can do anything else. Four timber is quite a lot for one, but we will, we will do it. And there it is, a plot level 2 we have. Doesn't look that much different. I think it looks a bit more sophisticated. Yeah, it looks like it has a brick wall instead of a wooden wall like this one here. Right, level 2 it is. With that, we have finished the first one. Um, There is... Can there be more people living in it? Nope, I don't think so. They're just happy overall. And... That's it. Or pay me more taxes and stuff like that. Um, I would, of course, also like to do this then here for one with a... A spot right next to it, so a plot right next to it. And we still need to upgrade two more. Right, so that should be our goal right now. Uh, I've got the two timber that we do need for the logging camp. So let's spin, uh, build a another logging camp then right over there with a highest priority. ASAP. There is a snowstorm coming in right now. Oh, it's looking really cold. My firewood is holding up. Yeah, it's holding up for now. And there it is coming together already. Very nice. We have three people available. So let's assign all three of them right away. To this one here. Chopping down trees right behind it. Probably the safest bet that we have for this one. As we do have a lot of trees anyway. Just not enough timber. That's the problem. I also think they could already do it here, right? There's eight timber in this area. Go ahead, people. Please produce more for me. And by the way, what we could do, though, is for the livestock trader, is get at least one oxen in, right? So let's import one oxen to a target of two. Let's get to work. Because with this, we could then afford a second hitchhiker post. There it is, hitching post. And this one would make it uh, m much easier to transport, right? And oh! There's a limit of one. All right, we have reached the limit for this one. I cannot do that. I cannot have more. So let's just not do this here. That's a shame. 
We got six timber. That should be possible for us now to add another upgrade here with the plot. There you go. There it is. Ah, yep, it's changing for sure. And there it is. This is looking much more different then, than the other one, though. Looks taller. And we can also upgrade that one now. And with that, we should have finished the mission then. And here I thought I would never finish that mission, as the last log has been delivered. Once again, another tier house, tier 2 house, and it really looks different once again than the other two. Quest completed. And there's also no follow-up quest anymore after this. And yeah, this also concludes my Manor Lords demo series. Holy cow, there was a lot of content. And this is one, one promising game. I have to say that. It is feature-rich. It is almost bug-free. It is beautiful. Absolutely fantastic to look at. It looks very polished. We have only seen a glimpse of what the game can offer once the, the early access launches. I hope you enjoyed this one. We created a nice hill village there. Over 100 people, prospering. Food-wise, we will never have a problem anymore. Fuel-wise, we will never have a problem. We got clothes, everything that my people provide. And we got all the buildings that are available to us. From now on, it would just be expansion of the same types. And I'd rather just enjoy how it looks right now. And I'm going to conclude this playthrough with a nice walkthrough. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. Thanks all also to all my supporters. Have a nice day and definitely see you in the full version of this one. Cheers!